Hey everyone, welcome to another ID Maker tutorial. In this video, I'll cover how to encode a QR code onto your badges. If you're starting from scratch, select the features you want displayed on your card as well as encoded on a QR code. In this example, I'm going to display first name, last name, and a picture. And then on the QR code, I'm going to put, uh, let's put employee number. If you're looking to use an existing card and simply need to add the data field to encode, you can do that by going to the data entry tab and selecting add remove fields. Remember in this example, I want employee number to be encoded on the QR code, but I don't want it displayed on the card. So I can simply click it and delete. And here you can go to the data entry tab and see that it's still available for encoding. It just won't be displayed onto the card. Once you're ready to encode the QR code, navigate to the template design tab, click encoding, then select barcode. The QR code is technically a fancy barcode. So we're going to scroll down this format list until we come across QR code. Double click that. And here we can add a value or we can select a database field. Remember in this example, I wanted to encode employee number. Okay, once you've set that up, navigate to the data entry tab and start filling out the data fields onto the right. And here's his employee number. Now using a data field is especially helpful when printing more than one badge. If you have a file with your employee data and want to import that for an auto filling, uh, for the autofill capabilities, simply navigate to the blue ID Maker logo in the top left, click that, hover over database, and then select import database. That'll bring up a file finder where you can select your file and upload it. Okay, once you've uploaded your file, you can navigate again to the data entry tab and see each card. For this example, I'm going to manually add a new card by clicking new down here. And I'm going to start adding some more data for the second new employee today. Apparently they're married. Okay, that's her employee number, just for the sake of the example. I'm gonna click new again. And now if you go over to the left, you can click on these individuals and see their card templates. Now you will see, if you look closely, you'll notice that the QR code is changing because we've their employee number is different. Now you've now you have officially encoded a QR code. So as soon as your card design is done, um, you're free to print. If you have any more questions, I encourage you to watch our other ID Maker tutorials or reach out to us directly. Until next time, design on.